Good day everyone. So for today's video, we're going to have the fourth leg of the operations on functions and that is and how are we going to divide functions or division of functions. So to divide functions, if we are given uh, functions f and g, then we, uh, we have f divided by g of x is equal to f of x over g of x wherein yung maunang function sa statement natin would become our numerator. And then, uh, numerator or the dividend. And then, the second function sa ating sec sa statement would become our divisor or our, or our denominator. Okay? So, to illustrate this, let us have an example. So, let f of x be equal to 3x minus 6 and g of x equals 5x plus 4. And then, we are to look for uh, f over g of x. So, based on our definition, we have f over g of x, then that would be equivalent to f of x over g of x. Hence, we are going to copy first g of x, and that is 3x minus 6 over g of x, and that would be 5x plus 4. Okay? Here, we can, uh, we have to think uh, if there are common, uh, common factors between the two functions, so that we can simplify the uh, we can simplify the fraction, all right? But since when you take a look at 3x minus 6 and 5x plus 4, there is no such common factor. Hence, um, if, we are going to div or if we are going to look for f over g of x, then f of x over g of x would be 5 x, or 3x minus 6 over 5x plus 4, since we cannot simplify it further, Okay. We can uh, take. Please take note. We cannot. Uh, we cannot remove x here. Okay, it's just because we uh, we consider this. Uh, we consider this as one term, and so with this one. Okay, so we cannot. We cannot do that, and that is beyond the rule of mathematics. Okay, so that is why if we are to look for f over g of x, then that would be three x minus six over five x plus four. In such a way that there is no common factor. Okay? Let's proceed with the next example. Let us have this one. Let f of x be equal to 3x minus 6 and g of x equals 6x plus 15. And we are to look for f, f over g of x. So just like what we did a while ago, since the f yung nauna sa statement natin, that would become f of x over g of x. And that would be what? We copy first f of x, so that would be 3x minus 6 over 6x plus 15. Okay? If you would notice, all terms here, all terms here are actually what? Are actually divisible by 3. Hence, we would have an idea that the common factor of both function is 3. So, pwede natin gawin is that Ilabas natin si 3 and we factor it out. One by one. Okay, let's, uh, punta muna tayo dito kay numerator. So, if you factor out 3x minus 6, that would be 3 times x minus 2. So, if, we're, if we factor them out. Okay, and so with the, the denominator, that's 6x plus 15, we, uh, we factor out 3 and then, ang matitira sa loob would be, 2x plus 5. So if you simplify this, that's 3x, 3 times 2x, that's 6x, and then 3x, or 3 times positive 5, that's positive 15. So that's how you check it. Okay? So now, since they have now common factor, what we're going to do is to simplify them. Okay? So 3 divided by 3, so dito nag, ano na po tayo, nag, um, tinanggal na po natin or nag-cancel out po tayo it's just because this is multiplication okay so if we simplify this 3 divided by 3 that is actually 1 or, so if, I'm, if we simplify this one that would be x minus 2 over 2x plus 5 so that's how we get the quotient of the two functions f of x and g of x okay in such a way that their common factor is 3 okay so that's how we that's how we uh, divide function. So let's make it more challenging this time. 
let's have this one. Let f of x be equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 and g of x equals x minus 2. And then we are to look for f over g of x. So just like what we did a while ago, unahin natin si f of x, that would be f of x over g of x. And then we copy the we copy f of x, that would be x squared minus 4x plus 4 over g of x, that would be x minus 2. Now, um, if you will take a look at the numerator, you would notice that this is actually a, uh, a trinomial, a, tri uh, a quadratic tri trinomial, which can be, uh, which can be uh, factored out by, by the product of two binomials. Okay, so if we're going to factor this out, what we're going to do is to think of the factors of positive four, wherein yung kanyang magiging sum is negative 4. So, ano kaya yung factors ni positive 4 na ang, ne, ang sum niya ay negative 4? That is actually negative 2 and negative 2. So, if we're going to factor this out, that would be equivalent to x minus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. Alright? And if we're going to simplify this, if we're going to simplify this, we have this one. This is actually equivalent to one. And if we are going to look for the quotient of the uh, functions f of x and g of x, then our resulting function will be x minus 2. Okay? So that's how we, uh, that's how we divide uh, this kind of function. Alright. It would be too tiresome for us if we're going to divide functions the way we did it a while ago. Okay, what if we are dividing a polynomial function with a binomial? Okay, um, um, a technique uh, called the synthetic division is used whenever polynomial function is to be divided by a binomial. So what do we mean by this? Kailangan po yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, dividend is a polynomial function at ang ating divisor is a binomial. So, let us illustrate that using an example. Suppose that we have f of x equals uh, x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, it's too long. And g of x equals x minus 1. And we are to look for f over g of x. So, we have down there f of x over g of x. And if we're going to um, if we're going to uh, applied what we did a while ago, that would be x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1 over x minus 1. It would be too tiresome if we're going to think of the factors of this one. Tama? Now, syntactic division is a great way to deal with this one. Okay, what we're going to do is just to what? It's just to uh, rewrite the function first x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1. Since our, um, our dividend, f, is a polynomial function. Now, let us consider the divisor, which is g of x. Is this a binomial? Yes, this is a, bino this is a binomial. Then, we can use synthetic division. So, what we're going to do is just to... Um, Consider all the numerical coefficient of the dividend, okay? Or nung polynomial function natin. So, ano-ano ba yung uh, numerical coefficient? Ito, meron tong numerical coefficient na 1. And then we have negative 4. We have positive 6, negative 4, and positive 1. At yun lang yung isusulat natin. Okay? So, we are dividing it synthetically, ha? We have 1, negative 4, positive 6, negative 4, and then positive 1. And then, our divisor... That is x minus 1, tama po. Sabi natin si x minus 1, since we are just dealing with numerical coefficients here, dapat this is just a constant. So, para makuha natin yung constant or para ma makuha natin yung root, that uh, what we're going to do is just to equate the divisor by 0. And that would become x equals 1, or sorry, that is x equals 1 
wherein we obtain x equals 1 by transposing negative 1 to the other side of the equation. Okay? Hence, uh, this one, this uh, numerical coefficient is to be divided by positive 1. Okay? And then what we're going to do first is to bring down the first term. Bring down the first term. That would be 1. And what we're going to do with this 1 is to multiply it with our divisor, which is 1. So we have 1 multiplied by 1. That would be positive 1. Okay? And what we're going to do with this 1 is that we have negative 4 plus 1. That would be negative 3. Okay? And then we repeat the process. We have uh, negative 3 multiplied by the divisor. That's 1. So that becomes negative 3. And then what we're going to do is to add them. We have positive 6 plus negative 3. That would be positive 3. And then what we're going to do is to repeat again the process. That is positive 3 times 1. That would be positive 3. And then, I'm uh, sorry, that would be positive 3. And then we have negative 4 plus positive 3. That would be a ne a negative 1. And then lastly, we have negative 1 multiplied by 1. That would be negative 1. Sorry, that would be negative 1. That would be negative 1. And then we have 1. We have 1 plus negative 1. That would be 0. Okay? The last term or the last number in our solution is the what we so-called remainder. Ibig sabihin, ito po yung natira nung nag-divide tayo. That is our remainder. Since uh, the remainder is 0, then there is no remainder. So what we're going to do or what does this mean? This number means the numerical coefficients of our quotient. Okay? And um, by simply taking a look at our polynomial function, that is x to the fourth. That is, um, that is x to the fourth. And then, yung, device, yung first term lang ha, yung first term, that is x to the fourth. At i-divide daw natin siya dun sa unang term ng x, uh, g of x natin, that is x. Alright, so... Ibig sabihin, kapag dinivide natin itong dalawa, by applying the quotient rule of the law of exponent, that is actually what? That is actually x raised to 4 minus 1 since it has an, um, an exponent of 1. So we have x cubed. So our first term, our first term would be x cubed. And its numerical coefficient would be this one. So hence, the first, uh, the first term of our quotient would be x cubed. Or we can say that it's 1x cubed. Okay? Next is the next term. Alright? So after x cubed, then we have x squared term. And then we have the x term. And then we have the constant. Now, the, the numerical coefficient of x squared would be the next one. That would be negative 3. Hence, that would be negative 3x squared. And then the next one is the numerical coefficient of x. That would be positive 3 Hence, we have here positive 3x. And then, the last one, that would be our constant. So, we have minus 1. Hence, if we're going to divide the polynomial function x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1 with that of g of x, which is x minus 1, then the resulting function would be x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. And that is using synthetic division. And that's how we divide functions.